Ooh. All right. <laughs> about my hair. I have a wavy curly hair pattern. My hair is like 2B, 2C, 2A. It's like a mix of different curls and I've been really trying to figure out like what type of curly girl, wavy girl method works best for my hair. I'm gonna show you guys my current routine and the things that I've been doing recently. Be <laughs> more of a lazy laid-back girl when it comes with to my hair my wash days I usually prefer to do them in the mornings because my hair takes a really really long time to dry I have a lot of hair I think that comes from like my Mexican background so it definitely takes a while to dry so I just prefer to do it in the morning so that I can get out of the way because if I go to sleep with my damp hair it's just a disaster in the morning I start by taking my hair out of these braids this is kind of like one of my like recently go-to styles when my hair is just like on its last leg. I try to like brush my hair out on wash days before getting into the shower. That's the only time that I ever brush my hair throughout the week. I rarely ever brush it unless it's on wash day because brushing it as you guys can see just makes it a little bigger and frizzier and it just doesn't look good. Like you guys can see my hair is getting kind of big as I brush it out. Sometimes like I will put like an oil in my scalp or something like that. I'll put like a photo of one that I really love. I ran out of it already. But if you guys have any scalp oil or scalp treatment recommendations, let me know because I always love to do that. Hop into the shower for the rest of the routine. So in the shower today, I used first off this papaya scalp scrub by Ceremonia. Guys, this hands down has to be one of my newest favorite products ever. It looks so like freaking delectable and cool like in the actual tub. It smells amazing. I think that this has some sort of like eucalyptus or like peppermint or something because it gives your scalp that like tingly, fresh, clean feeling. It lathers so, so well. So like. Maybe every other week I will use this in place of my normal shampoo um, just to get like a scrub, like exfoliation and a nice clean. I absolutely love this product. They're pretty simple. So the thing that I use just probably once again, once every other week, hair mask by Ceremonia. So I use this in place of like a normal conditioner and when I tell you guys that this works wonders, it does. I recently got highlights in my hair and I feel like that dried out my hair quite a bit. And I feel like this definitely has done a great job of bringing back some moisture into my hair. So when I do this to my hair, I put it in my hair with my head like upside down in the shower and I will like scrunch it into my hair. And I'll leave it in my hair for about like three, four, five minutes while they do like other shower things like, you know, shaving, washing my body, all those other things. So I'll, like let it sit in my hair for a bit before I actually wash it out. And when I wash it out, I wanna say that I would wash out about like 70% of it and then keep some in my hair just to kind of get that moisture to like really be locked into my hair. I think my friend gave this to me because she was visiting me before she was going to Colombia. She was like, this is like, my suitcase is gonna be overweight, so like, I'll just leave this with you and she has curly hair. As I am born curly, curl defining jelly with soft hold, this is a product that I'm pretty much testing out, so I haven't really decided whether or not like this is really making a difference on my hair. I will say that I do need to add some sort of other gel on top of this because it's just not strong enough. If you have like this wavy curly in between hair like I do, your hair really, really benefits from like a strong hold gel, not it. But I did add some into my hair after the conditioner and scrunched it in before I got out of the shower. And now that my hair is soaking wet right out of the shower, I'm gonna put this in my hair, which I've actually been loving. Gross and like sticky, because I've actually been using it. This is the Cantu Natural Hair Define and Shine Custard. So this stuff is really cool. Ooh. This is so gloopy, but I'm telling you, this is the kind of consistencies that my, 
my hair actually really benefits from. This has like this gloopy jelly texture and I feel like my hair just drinks this up. I usually do it when my hair is soaking wet right after the shower. I try to like work it into my hands a little bit before I actually put it into my hair um, just so that it's not like super, super sticky. We're gonna do the hair flip downward and then we're gonna just put it kind of like, I guess they call this like prayer hands where you kind of glide it through your hair because I want to make sure that it gets on every strand. And then I'm just going to scrunch all of this in my hair. Pretty much the last step for me where I start to let my hair air dry. I do kind of do a few things with my bangs, although I find that my bangs, because I have curtain bangs, I find that they look the best when I just like let them air dry on their own naturally. Sometimes I will blow dry them. So we'll see how they air dry today and see if I need to blow dry them. The reason why I air dry my hair is I feel like it always looks so much better when I do and I just let it do its thing. I try to touch my hair the least possible while it's drying because the more that I like play with it and touch it while it's drying, the more frizzy it tends to get. Technically, I should be diffusing my hair, but I don't know how to do that. I've never diffused my hair. I don't even have a diffuser. I actually have one that's coming in the mail, but I, like, I've like i never used it. So maybe if you guys wanna see a video of me like diffusing my hair, I can definitely try that out because I've actually never really done it. Um, and I feel like it might help like get a lot of volume because I have some places in my hair where like the curl pattern is just not the same all around. So maybe that could help me out a little bit with some volume and, and some of the texture. So you guys let me know if you want to see it. I'll come back at the end to show you guys what my hair looks like when it's fully air dried, when I'm like what I do to like refresh my hair and like all those types of things. So I'll see you guys in a few hours. Hey besties, it is very, very many hours, very, very many hours later, but my hair is finally dry, at like 90% dry. Okay, so we're back in front of the mirror. The last things that I ever do to my hair when I'm just like finishing it up after like the wash day is I wanna like scrunch out any crunchiness from the like gel custard thing that I put in my hair. Um, it's not super crunchy. It doesn't really give me much of a cast, but I try to do that uh, whenever possible just to get rid of like anything that could be like crunchy. All right, <laughs> flipped it and reversed it. And then as you guys can see, my bangs dry down pretty nicely today. So I'm not gonna like mess with them or do like too many, like any blow drying or anything like that. The only thing I, last thing that I do is kind of like go like back and forth with my fingers in my roots to kind of give it a little bit of lift. So I'll do it like all around the head, my hair up, give it a little bit more volume and movement. And that's basically it for my hair. You guys like a final little look through of how my hair ends up looking at the end. So I'll put in some clips for you guys to see what my hair like is at the end of like the entire wash day. Linking down below all of the products that I used in this video. This video is not sponsored by any of these brands. Some of these brands have sent me product, but I just use what I like. I do have a few affiliate links and coupon codes, so I'll put that all down there for you guys to check out if you guys are interested in any of these products. Um, comment down below any suggestions that you have, like for my hair or anything like that. Let me know, because there's probably a lot more knowledgeable people online than I am, I'm just learning. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Comment down below what kind of videos you guys want to see from me next. And yeah, that's it for this video. I love you guys so, so much. Ciao. I'm a pretty thing, I'm a show out in town. Sometimes